Good morning, monitors. I'm Eduardo. And I'm Noah. This week on Lead TV, we're going to look back at the Power Puff game and see how some environmental science students celebrated Earth Day. So let's get started. How many days left do you think that there is in the school year? I'm gonna say uh, 26. I mean, I know it ends in May, so at least like 30 or 40. I don't know. I'm gonna say 32, 34, 33. Um, I think 39. I think about 50. I think there are about maybe 92 days. So I think uh, school's never ending because the grind never stops. For you other grade levels, we have 24 days left in school. For the seniors, we have 20 days left in school. Let's go. The Lee High School Red Dazzler Pep Squad will be hosting a mandatory parent meeting for all students and their parents wanting to participate in Pep Squad for the 2024-2025 school year. No dance or cheer experience is needed. The meeting will be held on April 30th, 2024 at 5 p.m. in the Lee High School Library in PR. This meeting will cover very important information about the up and coming year. If you have any questions about the pep squad and how to sign up, please see Coach Madison in CT 207 in the CTE building. Let's go Vols! Round Ball Ruckus will be on Thursday, May 9th in the main gym from 4.30 to 5.30. Come watch the undefeated Lee High School Special Olympics basketball team take on teachers and staff. Admissions free. Concessions and shirts will be sold, and all proceeds will benefit the Lee Special Olympics program. Before the 2023-2024 school year officially ends and the curtain finally closes, we invite you to come out to the annual end of the year Liette Spring Show. Ruby's Darlings Cheer Pep and the Liette Senior Class of 2024 proudly present the final farewell. The show dates and times will be Friday, May 10th at 7 p.m., but the doors open at 6 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center Auditorium. Tickets may be purchased in the front office beginning Monday, May 6th at 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. And all audience members must present the prepaid ticket at the door. There is no reserve seating. So anyway, how are things going for you? Uh, honestly not bad. This year I only have like 20 unexcused absences. Whoa, what, 20 absences? No, that's not good. You gotta make those up. If you have any more than 10, you can't graduate. How am I gonna make that up? I don't have a time machine. I can't. No, no, you, you don't need one. Here. What is this? It's a Saturday school flyer. That's an oxymoron. You can trust me on this one. If you're that insistent, I guess. Thank me later. Remember, if your attendance is in trouble, go to Saturday school on the double. Remember, if you are in need of making up hours for attendance, here are the remaining dates for Saturday school. May 4th, May 11th, and May 18th. Sign up in the Lee Main Office before every Thursday at 2 p.m. The cost is $8. Future Business Leaders of America, or FBLA, is the largest business, career, and technical student organization in the world. Each year, FBLA helps over 230,000 members prepare for careers in business. FBLA inspires and prepares students to become community-minded business leaders in a global society through relevant career preparations and leadership experiences. Please stop by CT 207 and speak with Coach Madison. During Earth Day, environmental science students were seeing coloring with chalk to bring light to environmental problems and practicing activism to different causes to help the Earth. Earth Day is a day to celebrate the planet and um, how the Earth was created and just to celebrate just being here on the Earth. We have to take care of it so that future generations can live on. Highly High School, I'm Javi and I'm with our I'm Second Group. 
Uh, we are a Bible study where we meet together and talk about how to apply it to our lives and just conversations surrounding that. And we meet every Thursday morning at M211 and every Thursday afternoon at M213. Everyone is welcome and invited. Uh, come learn what it means to be second. Go Vols. Hola, Lee High School. Me llamo Denise y soy aparte de yo soy segundo. Nosotros somos un grupo de un estudio bíblico que es guiado por los estudiantes. Nosotros nos reunimos cada jueves a las 8 de la mañana en el cuarto M211 o cada jueves en la tarde a las 4.20 en el cuarto M213. Nosotros te invitamos a que aprendas a ser segundo. Go Bulls. Hey, what are you doing? You know those eclipses are already over, right? I just don't know what else to do with these. You know you can drop them off at the world language classes, right? I heard I can deliver these Eclipse glasses to you. Yeah, you can drop them off at any world language class. Wondering what to do with those Eclipse glasses now that it's over? World language classes would like to announce a collection to help underserved communities around the world. Bring your new or gently used glasses to any world language class and donate them to Eclipse Give Back. So save those Eclipse glasses from the landfill. Bring them to a world language classroom and pay it forward. game behind us. Right now we got the purple team taking the lead, putting it on our seniors. So let's see what happens. See you at the end of the game. The annual Potterpuff game was last Thursday at Kamalander Stadium. So what I really liked was that um, the girls, they got to play a sport that like typically girls don't play here. So I thought that was really exciting. The juniors won, but it's okay because you know, we like all did it for like a good cause. My favorite moment was when the Cheerleaders performed, like their choreographies were cool to see, like see them all like do something that, you know, they typically wouldn't do. I really loved getting to play with everybody and I don't get that many opportunities to play flag football, so that was really, really awesome. And I like the competitiveness of it and just the overall fun and like everybody came out to cheer and support, so it was super fun. I think it's an important tradition because it gives us a chance to come together within our grade level and just make new friends and build a little community and have the opportunity to play flag football against the other grade levels. And it's just really fun. It's a good community building opportunity. Okay, my favorite moment was when I made a defensive play. Their center snapped the ball back to the quarterback and she fumbled it and I jumped on top of it and recovered the ball like 20 yards from our uh, end zone for the seniors. And had we scored, that would have turned around the game, but unfortunately we did not score that touchdown. But I still love doing that. It was lots of fun. Congratulations to all the participants and Potter Puff King and Queen, Mr. Braddon and Ms. Brisenio. The entire Potter Puff Court raised $1,261 for the Battered Women and Children's Shelter of San Antonio. That's all for this week. There are only a few more weeks left to school, so take a look at your grades and attendance. And remember, there's, there's nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. volunteer.